Good evening, folks. It's LB here again with uh, War 10, uh, attack number one, uh, against a pretty strong clan this time. Uh, these guys have quite a few industrial age bases, and although I'm number six on our lineup, we're hitting one down, so I'm hitting number seven, and this is an industrial age base. Um, However, looking at it, it's pretty clear that it's not a very well-developed industrial age base, which I'm happy uh, to, to say because, uh, you know, if I'm attacking a strong industrial age base with uh, my Enlightenment Age troops, um, I can't project a whole lot of uh, uh, success coming out of something like that. Um, but uh, looking at this, it doesn't look like it does. it's an extremely strong base. It's got a good road network, so it's going to have a strong town center, but um, it looks to be fairly accessible from the um, northwest and or even coming in through the uh, uh, straight west here um, where the uh, Stonehenge is and I am just looking at it now deciding which way to come in uh, thinking I'm just wondering if the area directly to the uh, west where it's wide open there isn't infested with traps and all kinds of stuff that um, can prove somewhat problematic for my troops um, however if I start back on the fringe and move up moving heavies in first they should be able to go through whatever traps and things like that but the cow traps and spikes and things could take a lot of uh, a, a lot of toll if they're concentrated there i think i'm actually going to just, just come in straight west breach the wall coming through stonehenge in the vault i think i think i that that's probably not um uh going to be strongly defended one bonus part of coming in through there is that um there isn't any defenses in range so it should be a pretty clean drop if I drop right in front of Stonehenge, then try to go in from there. I think that's what I'm gonna gonna do, is try to take it right into the Stonehenge and vault, try to kill them quickly, breach the wall, get in, and then fight my way to the town hall, and then um, try to back it back out and go around from there, probably counterclockwise. Um, I have a B-17, and um, try not to get too overly focused on using that to the detriment of keeping the troops in good shape. But otherwise, uh, I have some um, leftover, I think, bazooka armies, maybe a machine gun army, um, too, that can help me uh, get through this as I need to. So, all right, that's the plan. I think coming in from the west, uh, from the east side, I've got to, um, hmm, actually, that may not be the bad place to come in either. The good part, if I come in uh, across from where that uh, uh, archer tower is, um, next to the mortar, I can use a uh, sabotage to uh, keep those things frozen while I kill that stuff, come in there, and then funnel in and, and get the town hall kill, and then proceed around counterclockwise from there. The reason why I kind of like that approach better is they've got a Versailles, and if I come in north of the Versailles and then I'm able to come around counterclockwise from there, I'm leaving the Versailles last, and therefore at least it, it'll be least effective that way. Um, whereas if I uh, try to come in from the west side and then start moving around, uh, the Versailles is basically going to be splitting the base in half, and that's always problematic for the timer. Um, if I do uh, do a good job, keep my army alive, I could. Uh, I could still run into trouble getting a five star later if everything goes well because of the Versailles making my troops slow to a crawl as they try to uh, get past it to get to the troops on the other side of it. Um, so uh, I think that's what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come in from the east 
looking at this, get a sabotage down, take the mortar and that tower out, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so I have to fix my generals, but otherwise you can see Joey kind enough to give me a tank and machine gunner and some good riflemen. Um, so I've got really good um, alliance troops and strong heavies in my mercenary camp and a B-17. And you can see I've got two bazookas armies and a machine gun army to go with the rest of my stuff. I'll try to use that betrayal if I can spot a tank or something coming out of the town hall. I looked at the base, I didn't really see anything that's gonna produce tanks. So, um, you know, the only thing I'm thinking is that they might have uh, a town hall in the Alliance troops, I, I mean a tank in the Alliance troops there. Uh, I need to go get uh, generals. So, we'll go with We'll go with Joan and Nobunaga. Joan for the heavy hit points, Nobunaga for the sharp sword. Um, and um, other than that, I think our troops are in good shape. Yep, I think we're green across the board. The usual troop mix um, that I use, so I'm not gonna explain all of that again. And let's see how this rolls. All right, so we're in. And we'll see how this B-17 does against the readout tower. And we'll try to bring everybody back out and around. The only thing is, uh, I forgot to kill the uh, town hall. Oh, uh, that's too bad. My bad. That's going to cost me a star. And I hit a readout with that B-17. It turned out to be not a wise maneuver. Um, the readout really did a lot of damage to it. I am so pissed at myself for screwing that attack up. This was an easy. This was an easy five star that I completely blew due to uh, not paying attention to the board. Oh well, sorry about that guys. Um, but four stars is, is pretty good I guess, all right. 